Hi, this is Kerry with DJI Colorado and Multicopter Warehouse. And today we finally get a new firmware update for the Mavic 2 Pro and Zoom. And while there's a handful of different things that it discusses in the firmware release notes, the one that caught my eye was optimized waypoints. Now, if you've tried to use Waypoints 2.0 in the past, it really did not give usable results. The, the camera motion would be very jerky and basically nobody used it because it just didn't work well. And it wasn't just with the Go app trying to do Waypoints. If you were using Leechy or Autopilot or something else to try and do them, you had the same results. So it was definitely a firmware issue. So we're gonna go out, we're gonna try using the waypoints in the Go4 app with this new firmware and see what kind of results we get. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is set up a couple waypoints. I'm gonna do one here off to the side, one here kind of directly in front of us, and then I'll have it turn into a pullback shot there. Now, if you see the way these arrows are pointing, that's the direction the camera's going to be pointed. So what we wanna do is set up a point of interest. So I'll go ahead and go to the point of interest now that we have our point of interest set up, I'm gonna to go to the waypoints, and what I'm gonna say is point of interest is the point of interest number one. And you see it changed that arrow to point to where I want it to. So I'll say point of interest is number one, and I'll go to the next one. Point of interest is number one. And let's check our altitudes. Well, we don't want it to start at 164 feet. So this one will start at 60 feet or 54 feet. The next one, I'm gonna bring that way down to like 40, oh, let's go 30 feet there. Go to waypoint three, and I'm gonna let that get up to about 100 feet. So it's gonna do a nice pullback shot. So we see we got the different arrows pointed at the point of interest, and we're gonna go ahead and hit go. This is gonna ask us to check a few things. I want it to be on arc which is fine, it gets a little smoother. The cruising out or speed that I want it to go to and my starting waypoint. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit start, slide to take off, slide to take off. Well, you see the results, they speak for themselves. The new waypoints definitely looks like it's been vastly improved. I can't wait to get out and try it with some different shots in different locations, but just from our initial tests, it looks like they finally got waypoints working properly on the Mavic 2 Pro and Mavic 2 Zoom. So if you haven't already, update your firmware and go have some fun and be sure and share what you've done while using the new waypoints as a video comment below. We'd love to see the kind of stuff that you guys are making happen with this new feature. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Check that bell icon to get notified whenever we do a new video. Thanks for watching everybody. This has been Kerry with DJI Colorado and Multicopter Warehouse. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.